Okay, I am here at the George Musser farm here off the Baltimore Pike. Right here is the Baltimore Pike. And I am here at the George Musser farm. This was the home to George and the, uh, George Musser and his wife, Elizabeth. George uh, was born in 1793. He died in 1876. Um, and after he died, he was taken and he was buried today in Evergreen Cemetery. Um, this is the house and the barn, the house being in the distance over there. It was used as a field hospital during the Battle of Gettysburg. Now, on July 2nd, uh, 1863, around noon, the 5th Corps of Crawford's Division marched to this farm and bivouacked just behind it. Um, they rested here and they waited for the 6th Corps to arrive. Um, now, one of the stories about this farm that's not real well known is Elizabeth Thorne, who lived in the Evergreen Gatehouse, which is in that direction about a mile. Um, on July 1st, 1863, uh, General Oliver Otis Howard when uh, Union uh, troops were retreating into the town, came to the gatehouse and knocked on the door and met Elizabeth Thorne. And he told her she had 10 minutes to evacuate her house. Uh, at that time, the Union lines were collapsing. They were falling back through the town. And Howard said, get what you can, grab whatever you can over the next 10 minutes, and leave. And Elizabeth Thorne packed up her belongings, um, left the house, and she headed south down the Baltimore Pike. Um, and about 10 minutes after she left, she arrived here at the Mooser farm, here, the Musser farm. Um, and she stayed here at this farm during the Battle of Gettysburg um, from July 1st to July 4th of 1863. She, this is where Elizabeth Thorne stayed during the Battle of Gettysburg. Now, when she returned to the Evergreen House, the gatehouse, on July 4th, of course, she returned to it being in shambles. It was a wreck. Um, and, uh, you know, windows were all shot out. Now, this house as it stands here today is probably in very poor condition. It, it, it's not lived in for years. You can see grass growing out of the drainage vents that were put on the house here. Um, you can see this old little spring house here behind it. Um, but the house and the barn are originals. This was also featured in uh, Greg Coco's A Vast Sea of Misery. But this is the George Musser Farm here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Hey, this is Secret to the Battlefield of Gettysburg. And we're standing here at the George Musser Farm here off of the Baltimore Pike. And we just did a video on the house and the barn um, and the fact that Elizabeth Thorne stayed here from the Evergreen Cemetery Gatehouse from July 1st to July 4th, 1863. One of the things about this property that is special is it runs along Rock Creek. And the early American Indians tribes lived here along Rock Creek, which runs in this direction. And from the time that they were here, even until the 1940s, there was a uh, area uh, behind the property called the wind caves. Now the wind caves were a series of boulders that the, that the Indians lived in here. Um, and they lived in these, in these caves which were made out of boulders and of course in the winter time they would build fires in here and, and the, the heat would stay inside the boulders. It would keep them warm uh, surviving the winter and of course in the summer the reason they were called the wind caves was because uh, the wind would go through this area of boulders 
and it would be like air conditioning. It would be a very cool breeze. Even here as I'm standing here today up on this hill behind the house uh, in this direction where the wind caves once were, um, it's, it's cool, it's breezy. You know, it's, it's got a lot of shade around here. Um, now, when the business came in here, uh, it was a quarry business, they came in um, and basically they drilled out of all these boulders uh, a crater here in the earth, which the wind caves at that time were destroyed. Um, but the site of the original wind caves and this, and this granite is now the quarry of the, of the business that is here. And when we go over here where these boulders are and take a look over, you're going to see the, the quarry. And this is the site of the old Indian wind caves, which were quarried out of this granite here in Gettysburg. And you look at the scene and you don't think you're in Gettysburg. Now you think you're at the Grand Canyon or in the desert somewhere. Yet just over here behind this house is the Baltimore Pike. Um, I do know people that own this business, so I've been able and afforded an opportunity to come here and shoot a video. Uh, this is normally private property, a business with no trespassing. Um, but I do know the people that run the business here and they've uh, let me come in here and shoot a video. So this is the George Musser Farm, uh, Secrets of the Battlefield with the old Indian wind caves. And if you want some more information on this area, uh, including uh, McAllister's Mill, um, the, the Underground Railroad, and a little bit more about the wind caves, go back and watch my video I did earlier in the year on McAllister's Mill. And, uh, and there's some more information there. This has been Secret to the Battlefield of Gettysburg, the old Indian wind caves that date back about 7,000 years uh, here in Gettysburg on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.